Douglas, what are you doing? Come on, Douglas, what are you doing? I had the opportunity recently to operate in Paul Dokel's uh, Baltimore Harbor District layout. And while I was there, I took some photographs using my iPhone. And I'm just going to kind of go through these here because he's had a lot of this published and he's done some articles in uh, Model Railroad and some of the other magazines. But uh, sometimes you just don't get the overall view. So we'll look through these. Here we have the entrance from staging, and we're going to go basically counterclockwise around his room from this staging entrance here and talk about different portions of the layout. Uh, it's, not, it's a moderately sized uh, space for layout, but he's got a lot of action packed into this area. So coming out of staging, you can either go to the left or you can go to the right. And first off to the right is the Carroll Street District. Carroll Street has street running, a large team track, and various industries off to the uh, side of the street. The other direction that comes out of staging is goes into what I would call the Western Maryland District. Here you have various industries that are switched by the Western Maryland switcher, uh, the coal dealer, the plant there to the right. Here we have some more buildings that are built into the back to get served. And finally this industry down at the other end of the layout. And he's done some articles on how he built these and created these structures and areas. Then there's a little bit of running over this uh, bridge here going across the uh, inlet. And uh, so this gives you some separation between the Western Maryland District and the Canton Railroad District, which is on the other side of the room. Now here you can see in the back is the uh, Canton Railroad District. There's an engine service facility and then uh, yards and uh, piers that are served. Better view showing the piers down at the end there. And this is a uh, reverse angle photo at the end of Pier 6, which is at the edge of your layout. I worked the Canton Railroad District job with uh, Matt Thompson, and this was quite the busy area. We had a lot of uh, industries to switch, and then we had two transfer jobs to uh, make up, and then also take the cars from the transfer jobs and either spot them at the industries or spot them in the yard. So we were busy pretty much the whole session. On the other side of the aisle from the Canton Railroad is the Western Maryland Car Float Operation and two large industries that are served by the Western Maryland. I particularly like this uh, chemical plant that he has here and there's a lot of piping detail and unloading racks and it's all very believable that it's an industry where everything's gone and flowing. And if you know me, you realize that I don't like an industry that's just there. It's got to have purpose, and it's got to look like it's ready to do what it's going to do. And here's the uh, entrance into the chemical plant where it's uh, surrounded by chain leak fence. The second industry was the Royster fertilizer plant, and this had a lot of business also. And the building is also kind of dilapidated looking, which I find interesting because there's a Royster fertilizer plant down in Norfolk where I lived for many years, and it was totally in disrepair but always working and always uh, had cars coming in and product going out. I was really fascinated with this flat car load. It looks like uh, two ship sections that are on the flat car ready to go somewhere and be installed. And, uh, and just look in the background here, we've got a main central box car. So I guess they're having paper down here getting shipped down from the main central. Anyway, thanks for watching. I thought it'd be interesting to see this little snippet of my uh, day operating on Paul's layout and seeing some of his scenery from probably a different perspective than you normally see in the, the tight end shots that are in the magazines. And thanks for watching the Puppies Heist. Say hello six months ago.